Hello, 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 my dear student. We will start lesson 5-3 medians and altitudes. The essential question of this lesson is what are the properties of the median in a triangle? What are the properties of the altitude in a triangle? Vocabulary for this lesson is the altitude, the centroid, the median, and the ortho center. What you can do in this lesson to find the points of concurrency for the medians of a triangle and the altitudes of a triangle. Let's look at a quick overview for this lesson, see what we will learn. So what are the altitude and median that are shown in triangle ABC? The definition of an altitude is the same as the height, which is a perpendicular segment from a vertex of a triangle to the line containing the side opposite to the vertex. What about the median? The median is a segment that had the endpoints at a vertex and the midpoint of the side opposite to that vertex. So here, AE is the altitude perpendicular to EC. BD is the median that bisects side AC. Let's learn more. Now, we will use in the class the figure shown. What are the altitudes and the medians that are shown in triangle ABC? learn about concurrency of medians. What is a median? As we said, again, the median of triangle are concurrent at a point that is two-thirds the distance from each vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side, and we will apply that. Also, we will learn about concurrency of altitude. The line that contains the altitude of a triangle are concurrent, they intersect in that point over there. That point of intersection is called the ortho center. The ortho center is the point of concurrency of the altitude of a triangle. We'll see how it differs according to the type of a triangle, obtuse, acute, and right. And we will solve many examples here and we will find the ortho center we have here the simulation or the interactive uh, activity here for us as you can see we will find the ortho center using the slope we will study it in details in our classes and then we end up with the conclusion I hope you will understand this lesson. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask. Have a good day, everybody.